The Niska Nation is celebrating a stolen memorial pole that will be returned to them following a historic decision by the National Museum of Scotland. In August, a Niska delegation traveled to the museum with the goal of having the Nisjo memorial pole repatriated. Yesterday, the museum's board agreed to return the memorial pole back to the nation. Nos Jowett, Dr. Amy Parent, was part of the delegation. She says justice has prevailed for their ancestors. I felt just really relieved when I heard the news to know that justice has prevailed for our ancestors, and in particular for our great-great-grandmother, Joanna Moody, as well as our fallen warrior, Dawid, and that we have an opportunity now to bring this pole home and the living spirit of our ancestors home back onto Nisqal lands. The memorial pole belongs to House Nishjao from the Frog Clan in the Niska Nation. It was carved in the late 1800s to honor Jowett, a fallen warrior who was in line to be chief. In 1929, Canadian anthropologist Marius Barbeau stole the memorial pole from the Niska village with the permission from Indian Affairs, but without the consent of the nation. The pole has been at the National Museum of Scotland since. In a statement, the National Museum of Scotland announced they will transfer the totem pole back to the Niska. We are pleased to have reached this agreement and to be able to transfer the memorial pole to its people and to the place where its spiritual significance is most keenly understood. We hope this is not the end of the process, but the next step in a fruitful and ongoing relationship with the Niska. To reach this goal, it took two years of planning for the Niska, along with support from their partners. Nos Jowett says she is thankful to the Museum of Scotland for repatriating a part of their history. She hopes the return of the memorial pole inspires other Indigenous groups to seek the return of their cultural possessions all around the world. We really do hope that this, uh, that our story of repatriation is inspiring for all Indigenous peoples and just in recognizing that the impossible can be possible in terms of the return of our cultural belongings and that we can see the incredible need uh, to continue this work with all museums that have imperial and colonial legacies around the world. The Niska Nation will have to wait a little longer because their winter season and snow create transport challenges for the pole. But the process is expected to move forward next year. Lee Wilson, APTN National News, Kitimat.